Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. It's wonderful to meet you here. Uh, we're doing a series called Daily Reminders. Um, I'm sure you have a to-do list or a checklist of things to do uh, for uh, maybe at work, maybe at a place of study, and uh, maybe you know you're going shopping, uh, buy, want to buy something. You have a checklist. So similarly, um, uh, we see in um, God's Word that the Psalmist says, "Forget not, choose to remember." In Psalm 103 and verse two, we see this. Uh, truth. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So the psalmist is reminding himself uh, to remember and not forget. Uh, remember what? God and all his benefits. And as we uh, start the day, as we go through the day, it's good if we can be reminded or if we remind ourselves of God and all his benefits. Today, uh, you know, we have one such reminder and today's, uh, our daily reminder for today is that our fight, this fight of faith, is not against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood meaning human beings. But our fight is not against flesh and blood. You know, our fight is not against human beings because it's a spiritual battle. Uh, reading from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. So Paul is writing here and he's saying, you know, our struggle is actually not against flesh and blood. It's against spiritual entities, against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. So really, human beings are not our enemies. The real battle is spiritual. The real battle needs to be won. Um, uh, that needs to be won is a spiritual battle. And uh, uh, we read in James chapter 4 and verse 7 that uh, we have been given the authority. Even as we submit to the authority of God and His Word, we have been given the authority and the power to resist the enemy and the enemy will flee from us. James chapter 4, verse 7, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So James is giving a very important key and an instruction. He's saying, submit to God. Submit to God, the person um, of God. Uh, submit to his instruction, his word, his, uh, his, his truths. Bring your life under submission. And then resist the devil and he will flee from you. Um, in 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 to 5, this is what we read. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments in every high thing, that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. We're saying though we walk or live this life as human beings, as flesh and blood, we do not war according to the flesh. It's not a carnal fleshly fight. It is a spiritual fight. And the weapons that we use are not fleshly. They are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. They are spiritual weapons to pull down strongholds, to um, cast down arguments in every high thing that exalts itself. So um, we need to remind ourselves today, our daily reminder, reminder for today is that our fight, our battle, it's not against flesh and blood. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this reminder uh, of this eternal truth, God, that uh, Lord, we are called to fight this fight of faith and it's not a fight against another human being, but it's a fight of spiritual entities, God. And Father, we thank you that you positioned us, you empowered us to win these battles, God. We thank you that uh, you, we have been given spiritual weapons and spiritual resources even as we fight these battles. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.